Hey everyone and welcome to GT Online Changes and Additions for the week of May 9th to May 15th, 2019. Two new Simian Repo missions were added into the game. These were the final two that were left in the game code, so unless they are going to make more of them, this is going to be the last batch. The first one is called Burn Rate. First you have to steal a fire truck. You can do what I did and call the fire department to have one sent out to you, or you can wait a couple of minutes and the game will put some on the map for you to steal. Once you have the truck, you want to make your way down to the docks and put out some fires while being shot at by NPCs. Some of them throw Molotovs at you, which will pop your tires. I didn't have any problems with it though, I put out all the fires without even leaving the truck. After all the fires are put out, you just have to take out the remaining enemies and it's mission complete from there. Now I thought I was going to have to go to multiple spots to take out the fires, but fortunately it's just the one and then you're done. It paid pretty good for only about 8 minutes of work. I like this mission because it reminded me of those older firefighter missions from their older GTA games. I know some of you guys remember those. On to the next mission, Simeonomics. Cars that you must steal are stored in a cargo plane at the airport. When you get to the airport you have the option of doing the mission stealthily, but it isn't required. In my opinion, it's more fun doing it without alerting anyone, but it's kind of pointless because you can just call Lester to call the cops off regardless. But yeah, the mission is very simple, it's just driving the cars out of the plane and to Simeon's dealership. This one paid about the same and it only took me about 8 minutes to complete it as well. If I had to rank these repo jobs, I would definitely put them at the top of the list. They didn't feel really tedious to do like the Cargo Bob one from last week, and the pay is better than most for the time you put into them. All of the repo jobs are double money and RP though, so the pay without this bonus would probably be horrible. Bunker sales are also double money, this is probably the best double money bonus there is. The cell missions aren't as boring as the biker ones, you're not driving a post up van, struggling to get up the Vinewood Hills. The only one I really dislike is the Doom Buggy one, other than that they're fine. The last money bonuses are on special vehicle races and G rating versus missions, they're paying out double money and RP this week, so if you get tired of grinding repo jobs you can play these and get adequate pay for this week only. For free stuff this week we have the war stock cap, looks alright, better than most of the stuff we get in these event weeks, and a big one is a free office. Until May 15th, you can get the Maze Bank West Executive Office for no cost. This is amazing for new players out there who don't yet have an office, and the best part is that locations don't really matter a whole lot for the offices. In fact, I would almost rather have the Maze Bank West or Lawn Bank locations. Some other property discounts include 40% off facilities and renovations, 30% off all vehicle and weapon workshops, and 50% off 10 car garages. For vehicles, there are a lot of them on sale this week, and for that reason, I'm not going to go over all of them. If you want to see them all, I'll of course have a link to the newswire in the description down below. So we have 40% off the Insurgent Pickup Custom. Now, on my screen, it's free because I haven't bought the holiday one that was a gift from Rockstar. And it's not going to be the Insurgent that's 40% off, it's going to be the Custom Upgrade, I'm pretty sure. I'm not exactly positive on that, though. Then we have 40% off the APC, 40% off the Ruiner 2000, you need this to start up fully loaded which is a very useful tactic against Oppressor Mark II spammers, and you're saving a lot because the vehicle is really expensive. And then we have 30% off the Armored Karuma, and the best vehicle of them all, 30% off the RCV. Now, a lot of you may think that the RCV acronym stands for Riot Control Van, but it actually stands for Really Crappy Vehicle. Don't buy this. To close out the video we have some miscellaneous discounts. 35% off body armor, ammo, including Mark II special ammo, and 30% off Doomsday Heist clothing. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.